Now in the cloud formation section, we saw how to create your infrastructure from the management console uh, using the cloud formation template. But in this section, we will see how to do the same from the CLI instead of the management console. So here we have our cloud formation template that it's the same template from the chapter from cloud formation. And I have created one more file called params.json, which basically contains the parameter keys and values uh, that we are going to provide to the CLI instead of user entering it. Uh, this time it will be provided in form of a file. For instance, if you go to the cloud formation template and over here you see this key pair, which the user usually enters. So we have the key pair over here and the value is my key because we are going to use that particular key. And then for instances, we had allowed the user to select the instance type from the drop down, but here we are going to provide it as a parameter. So let's see how we can use cloud formation from the CLI. So I have my CLI over here and I am into the path of where my cloud formation template is located the one we had created in the cloud formation section and i'm going to run this command aws cloud formation describe stacks and i'm going to click enter and right now we don't have any stacks created everything we had created was deleted or we deleted it so right now it's empty so now let's create a stack So we are, we are going to run this command to create a stack. So it's basically AWS cloud formation create stack. And then we are going to give our stack a name, which is test stacks TLI. And over here we have given a parameter called template body. And then we'll provide the file name for the template. So in our case, it's cloud formation dot template. And then we are going to provide parameters file which is parameters params.json file we just saw one thing you can do is instead of providing the parameters in file you can provide it in in the cli itself but it just makes a little bit sense to provide all the parameters within a file instead of typing it over here so now let's just run this command and over here we can see that it's trying to create a stack and we can also check the status by running the command aws cloud formation describe stack so let's see what happens so you can see it's the create is in progress currently and it's trying to create a parameter or a stack with the following parameters that we had provided and if we go to the management console we can see over here that the create is in progress right now and this is our stack name. Now let's go back to the CLI. And now we can delete the stack with from the CLI and with this command we can delete the stack. So basically what we are do doing is we are writing AWS cloud formation delete stack and providing the stack name and then we'll hit enter. And so it will delete the stack. Now let's just check if the let's just check if the stack is available or not. So the delete is still under progress. That's why we still are able to see the details back. So while the delete is still undergoing, let's see one more command, like we can validate our template too. So this is the command we are going to run to validate our template, AWS cloud formation validate template. And we can give template body and our file name and it's valid over here because it's returning a valid JSON. Now let's go back 
to our template and let's just add a comma over here or something and save it and now let's run the command again and then you can see over here that it is throwing an error that it is not a valid template so I'll go back and save it and one more thing regarding creating the template over here we can see that we have given the template file name you could also give the template URL from s3 so it's not necessarily it's not necessary that you have to give the template f and it should be locally you, sh you can give the template located at some other URL like an s3 bucket or somewhere so instead of template body you have to mention template URL if you are going to create a template from a URL and not template body so here we saw how to create a template how to validate uh, our template how to delete a stack and how to create a stack and then we also saw the describe stack command to describe the current uh, stacks or to view the current stacks from the CLI so this is how we can interact with cloud formation from the CLI